what up big herc 916 positivity motivation never settle for average you know how we do it over here go pick you up some merch at bigherc916.com and wash your ass while you're at it you know we don't like no smelly butts grab you one of the limited edition porsche wide body t-shirts while you're at it yeah man um you know, I'm always telling you guys, man, you got to look at the big picture. And um, sometimes even celebrities can get caught up in looking at the big picture. I don't know if you guys remember Fetty Wap. Well, prosecutors say Fetty Wap made $5 million with his music and he didn't need to traffic drugs to supplement. This is a story coming out um, about 14 days ago. Uh, Fetty Wap will be sentenced on Wednesday after pleading guilty in a connection to drug trafficking charge. Yeah, man, we haven't seen Fetty Wap because he's been in federal custody. Um, the lawyer's uh, rapper's lawyer has requested the minimum sentence of five years in prison. Prosecutors say he should serve at least seven years and three months. You know, the prosecutor, they're always going to try to hang you. So even though he's a celebrity, they want to try to make an example but we'll have to watch and see how this plays out. Um, prosecutors in New York are requesting that Fetty Wap be sentenced to at least seven years in prison for dealing cocaine, saying in a sentencing memo that the crime was especially egregious, considering that the rapper didn't need to deal drugs and make money. Um, Fetty Wap, whose real name is Willie Jr. Maxwell II, is set to be sentenced in Brooklyn Federal Court on Wednesday after pleading guilty in August to conspiracy to distribute 500 grams or more of cocaine. In sentencing memos last week, Maxwell's lawyer requested that he receive the minimum sentence possible five years in prison, while prosecutor said he should serve between seven to nine years. Prosecutors listed multiple reasons they believe Maxwell deserves a longer sentence, including the fact that he had a successful music career and didn't need to deal drugs in the first place. So, you know, there's a lot of other things that are playing a factor in this situation because they're saying that his success should have been more than enough for him and he shouldn't have had to go and deal drugs. Um, right here, one of the quotes is, he had a lucrative career as a rap artist and the ability to make an honest living and provide for himself and his family. End quote. The sentencing memo said, quote, indeed, the defendant told the probation department that he made $5 million during his music career. Nevertheless, the defendant chose to supplement his income by trafficking large quantities of drugs, drugs he knew would ruin lives. End quote. So that he said that in his sentencing memo. Um, Maxwell's lawyer argued in her sentencing memo that Maxwell got in a drug dealing to help family members who have become dependent on him. So, man, it's a, it's a it's a hell of a catch twenty two. You you know you you make it as a successful entertainer, and then all these people are relying on you to take care of them. But you're carrying all this burden, and you have the streets right here calling your name. The homies who, you know, they're trying to eat. They're not really as talented as you, and as far as music. And so, you know, you invest a little bit, try to help them out, and they can all turn to shit, man. Um, attorney Elizabeth Massandino said that her client is the father of nine children by seven different women and always financially supported his children and other family members. When the pandemic hit and opportunities to perform evaporated, Massadino said Maxwell became desperate to start making money again to support others. Ooh. Suddenly felt like his life was going in reverse and he became ashamed when he began to struggle to keep up the lifestyle he had created for so many. Massadino wrote. So, in other words, uh, all these people, like I said earlier, who was dependent on him when shit got rough on his end they still expected him to maintain a certain lifestyle for them 
And uh, man, it, it's, you know, it, it it's not that easy just because somebody sees you on TV to think that, you know, you can keep dishing out these luxury lifestyle items for people. And, and he had a lot of kids, man. You know, that, that, that adds up nine kids, seven baby mamas. Damn, that's a lot, man. Maxwell was arrested October 2021 and was initially released on bail. His bail was revoked two months later when he was caught on FaceTime threatening a person with a gun. And he has been in jail ever since. Fetty Wap, man. This dude was on Billboard's Top 100. He was doing his thing. But you can still get caught up, man. You know, your circle, the people you keep around you, the people who you have that you mentor, that, um, you know, give you advice. You, you got you to gotta make sure these people are really looking out for you long term because, you know, this seemed like a very short term resolution to a long term problem. And apparently... Uh, it didn't look like it didn't i don't know i don't know his personal situation but it, it doesn't sound like there is very many other people contributing to that to that uh money pot so um yeah you know um you got a lot of mouths to feed it can definitely add up you know leave a comment let me know what you think share this uh video and um Man, Fetty Wap, man, you know, I, I hope the brother gets the least amount of time possible. Just, But, um, you know, I think he could do a lot more good talking about his experience to others and how they can avoid situations like this. Big Herc 916. Subscribe, share the channel. Hello, my name is Big Quirk 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, Wash Your Ass Soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, Jamaican Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good, they will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself so if you can go to bigkirk916.com you can pick you up a bar and my goal is to help america combat funk go to the herc store at bigkirk916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some never settle for average merch or some of the muscle up car lifestyle merch we have hats never settle for average got them muscle up t-shirts we also have the never settle for average tank tops got the muscle up car lifestyle hoodies got the beanie caps hey man represent and I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.